One important thing when making a portfolio is to have ability to quickly lay out images and text. And Amazon lets you do that pretty effectively. So here I have a case study page and I'm going to show you how to create this very simply and easy in InDesign. We're going to go to an empty page and I'm going to turn uh, my view on for my menus by clicking uh, tab. And all I want to do is uh, come over here and I'm going to turn off presentation mode. And what I want to do is first show you how to just lay out placeholders. So I'm using the square rectangles and I'm going to click right on the directional pad. You see it divides it. It can do it uh, if I click up. You can divide it uh, vertically as well as horizontally. I just want four here. And the idea is at least know where these things are. If I click the black um, to flip the color. Now I, I can I click on these and if I wanted to just import these four images, I could just click, 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 click. These right here are not fitting proportionally to the frame. I could just come back and click both of them and make sure to click fit and fit frame proportionally and those will fill. So that's of course one way to do this. I of course also could get those in uh, just by clicking them and using my gridify when importing it, click right, right, right. And I would actually have to do that same thing with fitting and fitting the frame proportionally to get those all to fit. And of course, I can just resize if I want to choose a different size of that. But that's one way to get those images in. Next thing is getting the titles in. And what I want to do for my titles, I'm going to go to my character, make sure that I'm going to use a, a 14 inch VKPT. And I can already set up the paragraph to be centered. And I, I could just send one out and just put title one and hold down out and drag so I can duplicate these click my arrow pad right and I just come in here for each one do title two title three and title four and for coming down and adding a paragraph if I wanted to link paragraphs just to quickly show you how to do that so I would say this would be filled with placeholder text I could just come down here from the text menu and of course click on uh, filling with placeholder text and if I wanted of course to be uh, BK light or LTVT and then clicking 12 here and of course again make sure that's uh, left justified if I created a new text box and I wanted to join it with this one that's also very simple I could just click this little box here click on this text and now we have these connected but I could use the Gridify tool just as easily, um, clicking text, choosing my start location and my finish location and clicking that right directional pad arrow. And now if I go to text and insert my placeholder, you see these are all connected. And then of course to finish the image off, I just need to come and create um, a text title. And this is gonna be obviously pretty simple. Let me make sure nothing's selected. And it's, I could use future PTVK, and I'm actually going to do 24 here. And this is just the title of my case study page case studies. And I could just write justify. And of course, if I wanted to center that on the page, we could also use another alignment tool in InDesign of just uh, from my alignment menu. And this is currently in the uh, Essentials Classic workspace, by the way. Uh, I could just actually center. Now, the idea is it's just centering to the selection, but if I want to center to the page, I could just do that. And there we have it, center to the page. Let me go back to presentation mode by pressing W and go to tab to see the whole. You see it's a nicely developed page for my presentation. And that's what you can do very quickly and easily in InDesign. If you want to find more of how to make your portfolio for architecture design, in InDesign, check the links for my full course where you learn how to do this for an entire portfolio.